Goedemiddag and welcome to the award ceremony for the winners of the Builders Contest. Many players have put hundreds of hours into building intricate worlds and we want to showcase the winning five worlds in this video. You are already looking at the winner of the fifth prize, Araria by SP Beards. This is a world with multiple decorated towns and outposts with infrastructure in between. When you view all of them together from a distance, the combination looks beautiful. But viewed from up close, it also has interesting details and massive defenses. The fourth position is for this world, built by Vido Vascovi. Apologies if I butchered that name, but it's going to happen more often in this video. This world contains a compact city with cozy streets and squares, filled with many interiors and named workshops. All of the buildings have beautiful facades and the squares have little monuments. On top of the hill is an enormous castle with a large decorated interior. The related page for this upload on the Steam Workshop doesn't contain much information, just an apology for forgetting to turn off the crosshair for the screenshot. SP Beards, the winner of the fifth prize, left a comment though. He says the town really feels like a Bavarian or Austrian town in the late 1800s, and I do agree with that. And we have now switched to a new world. This is the winner of the third prize, meaning we have entered the podium spots. The world is called Raftburg and it was made by Neo. This has been his main world since update 0.9 was released more than a year ago. More than 1600 in-game days have passed here. It's an enormous world, with many different towns, all of them very lively and decorated. There are some very long rail bridges connecting different parts of the map with each other. It has a bit of a sea theme going on, with multiple harbors with ships spread around the world. The second place goes to Minnesota, made by a group of four players. I have talked about worlds being very large before, but this city is on a different level. The skyscrapers are ridiculously tall and detailed, and they dominate the surrounding area. The makes of this world are so dedicated that they even added their own custom-made overview map to the Steam Workshop page of their submission. Finally, it is time to reveal the winner of the first prize. We travel back in time and visit Medieval Map, made by Lagoon. Lagoon's Steam Workshop page includes a video and even a backstory. It explains that you start on the ship of Jacques Cartier. I told you I was going to mispronounce more names. He is a famous French explorer and you're supposed to leave his ship and start exploring these lands. There are many beautiful things to discover in this world. You can find remote houses and small communities, but also large cities with walls and huge gates. We are seriously impressed by the effort that all participants put in and the amazing results they were able to achieve in so little time. Lots of people deeply integrated all the new decorative items and features from 0 0.10, which was released only a couple of months ago. We really like the worlds we just showed to you, but there are more worlds that were very close to making it to the top 5. All of these worlds, both winners and not winners, are available on the Steam Workshop. Here you can download them and explore them yourself, something we definitely recommend you do. We will get in touch with the winners and send them the prizes. Thanks to everybody who participated. Bedankt voor het kijken en tot ziens.